Okay, if you've got one of these Harbor Freight uh, wood chippers, you might recognize this. This is mine, it's several years old. And the last time I used it, um, I put some stuff in it and all of a sudden it made a bunch of knocking sounds like it was throwing a rod and it just locked up. So I thought there was stuff, maybe I jammed something in it and I pulled the front plate off, cleared whatever wood was in there and uh, tried to restart it and the unit just would not start. And so I put it away for a while and figured, well, I'm done with what I was doing today. I'll, I'll get to it later. So needing to use it again, I tried to fire it up, had forgotten all about the fact that it stopped running on me last time. And it just would not start. So I checked the gas, checked the oil, because it's got one of those switches in it that tells when your oil's too low. And uh, nothing. And I finally found out that I had absolutely no spark. So double check the plug, you know, check to, check to make sure that it was uh, even getting fire to the plug, nothing. So I pulled the front of the unit off because all the flywheel and the magneto or whatever it is is coils inside. So I pulled the front of off and the first thing as I noticed is, where the hell is the fan? There's no fan in this. And I thought, is there something behind the flywheel? And I thought, no, that's not right. And I looked inside the cover and I found all this broken pieces of plastic. All They all fell out and were jammed in the cover and stuff. So it finally dawned on me that the fan had totally disintegrated. So, go online and uh, call Harbor Freight. Oh, we don't make that anymore. Can't get parts for it. Great. So Google it, Central Pneumatic or Central uh, Machinery, nothing. Nobody sells parts for these. So obviously I go to Amazon and eBay. Type in Central or Harbor Freight uh, small engine fan and boop, up pops the fan. However, it's for the Predator, which is the new Harbor Freight engine. You can't find anything that says central machinery on it. So I thought, well, how much different could, could they be? I mean, the Chinese engine is probably a Chinese engine. So I ordered a fan, it was 10 bucks. I get it, there it is. I look at the back of it, it's got a triangle thing. I said, oh, well, that should fit, you know, and. You got these three little holes here or whatever, and you know, it seems to line up. So yeah, that should fit. It's just slightly smaller. Well, actually it's about the same size as that flywheel. It is the same size as flywheel. So I look at that. I look at the back of the cup. It's got a little peg on there that lines up. I figure that goes into this area here. So sure, you know, I mean, it's not perfect there, but it should work. Problem is, is the flywheel has four holes in it. My fan has three holes in it, won't line up. And the diameter on these little pegs is slightly different than the diameter on that metal cup. So, went to the lawnmower shops, no avail. Nobody's got anything for this. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to jerry-rig this fan to fit on this engine. The only other alternative that I think I could find is there is somebody selling a complete flywheel assembly with the fan and that uh, starter piece, that little metal starter piece, but it's for the Predator. However, judging by the, by the pictures I saw online, the, uh, the flywheel is the same diameter as the fan, which means the, the Predator flywheel would be the same diameter as fan. This piece here, oops, I'm sorry. This piece here has the same triangle shape as that. And I think really the only thing that would stop me from using it is if the diameter of this hole for the crankshaft would be different. Again, without measuring it out and getting the exact dimensions from the person selling it, um, I, I won't know. It's 25 bucks with free shipping and, and I may be able to get it. And I guess if it doesn't work, I'm throwing $25 away. But it's probably probably the same dang thing. So we got two choices. One is to try this, see if it works for no more than I use it. Maybe it'll it'll get me by, and I'll document that to, so that if you've got the problem, uh, you can follow this video and see if I was able to fix it. So you know that you'll be able to fix it. If not, maybe I'll spend the 25 bucks and go ahead and buy the um, 
flywheel. Nothing else will make a nice doorstop. So, let's get started on this. Okay, now, if you'll notice, I got three plastic pegs on the inside of this fan. And what I did is I put them up against the metal starter mechanism, whatever it is. And I noticed that the diameter of the holes in this are just slightly larger than the diameter of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rat tail file, cut this in a vise, and just slightly file each hole down to see if I can get it to match those. Okay, what I did here was I slightly oblonged the holes and it seems to fit on the fan now. Now my big problem is these three holes, these do not line up. But I think what I'm going to do is just simply shave these nubs off. Okay, the uh, little nubs on the back are cut off now. I simply did that with a utility knife. Just cut them off flush with the back of the panel. Be careful doing that, obviously. You know, there's a risk of cutting yourself. Okay, just to make sure we've got a little bit more grip on this, for I just put it on the machine and it seems to fit flush against the flywheel. So this surface will mate with the flywheel. Um, just to make sure, I'm going to put a little bit of a, a rubberized glue around the edge here just to give it a little bit more grip against the flywheel. This stuff will come off easily if it just doesn't work out. Um, like I said, you know, I don't think it's going to harm anything, but it should help this plastic to stay tight against the flywheel a little easier. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we now have our starter pull on there. Let's go ahead and slip. Let me see. Where's that hole? Right there. And you can see the glue behind the fan all we need to do now is put a nut on it put it back together and we'll see if it starts okay i noticed when i took the shroud or when i put the shroud on and turned the fan it rubbed a little bit first i thought it was maybe the pull rope thing i took that off it still rubbed so i took the shroud back off and i noticed when they welded these at the factory you can see how this nut here is welded on and it's kind of flat across there and then they nailed welded these on at uh at an angle so the corner stuck out and it was rubbing that fan so all i'm gonna do is grind this off a little bit and um, i also when i uh i noticed that i had a indent in place in the front of the pole I, I know i hit that with a branch probably punched that in a little bit and that probably made this a little closer to the fan so, we're bending that back out. We're going to clearance these corners. Try it again. Okay, it's all back together. We got the fan on there. A little rubbing, you know, but uh, we did a little finagling and pushing back and forth on the, on the cover before we tightened it down, found the best possible place. The clearances are really close, but these are only nylon. I imagine if anything rubs at all, it's going to just wear those fan blades to where they stop. So... Anyway, it seems to be turning over smoothly now. Now here's the test. Let's see what happens. Looks like we managed, uh, possibly managed. I haven't really tried it in real life, but I think it'll be okay. But it looks like we managed to save another three or four hundred dollars with a ten dollar fix. So if you've got one of these, good luck to you. <laughs>